Good morning. It's market day. Um, I have about an hour and a half to get ready and leave. So I have to pack up my car and put all the plushies in there, my umbrella, get showered, and then get ready to go. You know what? I'm going to turn this into a mini what I crocheted in the past week. We got a little flamingo. This pattern is crochet by Jenna. So cute. Next are, I brought them back, <gasps> sunflower turtles. This base pattern for the turtle itself is by the Friendly Red Fox. And then I just added petals. These are the same pattern. Cute. I, I love turtles, or I love making the turtles. They're so cute. This looks like mocha, but it's just a baby bunny. Pattern maker is Kosinka Handmade on Instagram. Free pattern also. And I used a hat. And look at the eyes. Ooh. <laughs> and we got Totoro. I don't know how I feel about the, eye the ears, but they're cute. The little tail. And this pattern is by Danny Magpie. Paid pattern on Etsy. And this one is a massive one, so I might actually charge pretty high for this. But it's dun da 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 it's ditto. <laughs> Look how chunky it is. It's actually the size of a pillow. It's so cuddly. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> okay. And that's actually a free pattern on Instagram. And lastly, I finished Stitch. This pattern was by Crochet Grove. And yeah, I cut out the eyes myself. I'm pretty proud of them. All right, let's get on to the rest of the video. Okay, this is what the inside of my car looks like for setup materials. Umbrella, stuff, plushies, chairs, chalkboard sign, umbrella base. I have a small, uh, an extra towel just in case, and then I also have like a small foot, foot stand because I'm short. Okay, and then um, gym bag is not necessary, <laughs> but I have my six foot table right here, my crates, and my wagon. I have my four foot table inside by the chairs as well. Hi, it's market day. It's Sunday, April 7, and it is a cloudy day, but it's nice and there's lots of um, sunshine to come. Uh, I think temperatures are, the lows are in the 40s and the highs are in the 60s. Um, so it's gonna be a chilly day, but it'll be nice in the sun. So it is 9.17. My market starts at 12 and ends at five today. Um, the market organizers have told us that we can come anytime starting at 1030 and if we see our booth number on the floor we can start setting up so I'm super excited to head over I will be at the hangar in Long Beach today so it's about a 45 minute drive from where I live um, and I was considering to not spend money at all today on, um, you know, on ex like food expenses, but I'm running late and I wasn't able to prepare anything for myself uh, at home. So I'm gonna drop by 85 Degree Bakery, pick up some pastries and just munch on that for breakfast and throughout the market so that I don't end up spending money there and then just come home and eat dinner. Um, but to start off, I have <laughs> I have Starbucks. Uh, I know I said I was going to start making my cold brew protein uh, drink, but there was a mishap yesterday when I bought some Starbucks with my mom and they ended up getting her order incorrect. So she ended up giving me her Frappuccino and I saved my espresso, iced espresso, iced Hazelnut espresso, sorry, iced oat milk hazelnut espresso for today instead uh, because I do need the caffeine to stay awake. 
All right, I'm gonna head on over to 85 Degree Bakery and show you what I grab. All right, see you then. a ham and cheese ham and cheese uh, I don't know croissant <laughs> we got potato croquettes these ones are like freshly made because it's still steaming I mean all of them are freshly made but um, this one was just recently put out and then this one's my favorite marble ta marble taro bread so yeah I think I'm gonna Maybe eat the ham and cheese right now and then save the rest for later. So yeah, I'm going to, oh, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and head out. All right, see you at the venue, bye. All right, first trip and my bag. Parking was kind of hard because um, everybody was leaving yoga, but here we are. Okay, I'm on my way back to my car and walking in, I already saw two crochet vendors, so um, we'll see, <laughs> we'll see how I do. They have like the mini plushies where they use the acrylic yarn, but, mm, and they're competing with each other because they're ma they made, um, what do you call it? They made crochet flowers, which I don't have and I don't plan on making again. I'll probably bring the crochet flowers that I had for Mother's Day, if I can um, book a Mother's Day event, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. Okay, second round, hopefully last round. Okay, round three, I mean round two. Um, have the base, the tables, chair, sign, umbrella. Let's go. All right, here we are, Long Beach. It's always crazy when we start setting up. Um, let's see. Okay, just gotta maneuver around the cars and people. so far my friend and then there's people over there in the grass area and then on this walkway too so yeah with setup I made my first sale and I forgot a pen <laughs> hi hi neighbors yeah yeah this is so cute. thank you so much that one was a tough one to make it's a little thank you so much I didn't realize I had so much stock <laughs> So I'm like, I'm like, I don't have enough, so. Yeah, exactly. We're in the same 
Yeah. Same ball. That's a, it's a good problem to have. I know. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's crochet. I did it off of um, YouTube. Yeah. So I watched videos on there and then I kind of just started doing it yeah. myself. Yeah. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Such good stuff. And, um, like, whenever we make it, I'll be back at your table. Oh, there you go. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Like this as a hat? Oh, that could be cool. Yeah. What? That's a good idea. I have a sister in law who loves. <laughs> Okay. Okay. And she's got something similar, but it's an octopus. Oh, okay. And then it's got like big temples, you know. Like yeah, a, as a hat. As a hat. That's so yeah, cool. Yeah. Okay. But I think it's like fabric. It's not crochet. Mm, okay. It's like, I'm sure. It, I'm sure. It's, if you could do something like that with crochet too. Yeah. Wow, yeah. oh, oh that's a nice gosh, idea. <laughs> I have like the little fidget one, so these mushrooms are actually yeah. fidgets, you can oh, do that. And same with the chicks, they actually pop in and out and you can cover them. And then the frogs as well, there we go. they go popping in. Yeah, look, you can take it on and off. And the ones that How much are these? Those are 15. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> you guys too. Okay. I still need to price some items um, because I am forgetful and I did put it on my little board. Um, and I have this for that and this for that but we'll see i usually only use this for like the larger plushies and so there's no music playing right now so that's why i'm vlogging um but i kind of want to walk around um, but it's kind of busy actually so it's a good thing all right friends here we are behind the scenes here's my point of view of what i can see on the main walkway here is a time lapse of my point of view during this lovely market day. There were tons of people who came out to enjoy the weather, the good music, and go shopping, I suppose. But yeah, it was really nice to people watch, nice to chat with the people who stopped by, and just nice to enjoy the vibes. All right, as I come back from the restroom break after my mom has relieved me at my table stand, here I am walking through the market. As you can see, there's a lot of people, there's a lot of vendors, all around great vibes. There was a DJ that was playing here, so I had to do a voiceover because I don't want to get copyrighted. Anyhow, I know you can't really see much of what these vendors have to offer. However, I just wanted to go ahead and take you around with me just to show you what everyone's setup kind of looks like. I did a really quick walkthrough. I wasn't able to see all the vendors. There's actually more vendors to the left side, but I didn't get a chance to walk through there. And as you can see, I have the POV of a very short person. Keep in mind, I am 4'11", and I am holding the camera at chest level. Okay, I'm not holding it at eye level because I am shy, but I still wanted to get some footage here to kind of just show you what types of vendors are out at this market specifically. I love her setup here. And then there were people taking a picture here and when I noticed I wanted to get out of there right away. <laughs> So many different varieties of shops here. There's even people here picnicking because I believe this grass area is typically open for the public to just hang out on and lots of families come through here because there's a lot of food. 
areas and shops. And yeah, there's jewelry here on the right side. And then there's another crochet vendor over there on the left. We had an anime vendor here. So cool. And this is me heading back because I am not sure how my mom is doing at my booth. Oh, here's another crochet vendor. Beautiful work. Welcome back. We're gonna do a recap of the market of today. Um, Sunday, April 7 at the hangar um, in, in Long Beach. So really quickly, I made a page of sales about, I might have missed a few because I didn't have a pen. So I just kept track of them inside of my phone. Um, but yeah, let's go over totals. I made a total of 141 cash sales. I made a total of 291 in card sales on Square and no one paid with Venmo, but people did pay with Zelle and I made $50 in that. Um, our fees were 165 for the, I think eight by six or seven by five foot space and coming out to a total of $317 yeah! for profit. So not a bad market at all. Let's just go over how I felt about the market. I thought it was really nice. My vendor neighbors were all very friendly. Um, one to the left side of me was a clay earring and other accessories. She was selling cups and t-shirts and sweaters, I believe. Keychains, <laughs> keychains, and she was really friendly. Um, she came with her family. And then the other neighbor next to us was, uh, I believe she, was a teenager selling slime with her mom and her mom was letting her run her little shop and um, helping her out so that was really sweet. Um, I did get a free slime from them and I can't wait to use the slime with my kiddos at work. So they were really sweet and really friendly to talk to. Um, so yeah, and also the slime that she made was smelled so good. I told them I wanted to eat it and they were like, please don't do that. <laughs> I wouldn't, but it just smelled really good. Um, so yeah, overall, my setup took a little bit longer to do uh, than I typically do. I think I actually took about an hour to set up. Sometimes it only takes me mm, 40 to an hour to set up. But I think what took uh, made me take a little time was because I had so much inventory that I didn't know what to do with it. Um, and I actually still have a lot in stock so ooh, thankfully thankfully it's it's a good problem to have because then that means i don't have to stress out as much for the next two markets that i have next weekend both saturday and sunday i will be having a market on um, separate venues and separate uh, organizers as well so look forward to that vlog after this one there was a lot of people who were walking around you know enjoying the weather there was lots of sun, um, as you could have, uh, as you saw in the B-roll. Um, there was just a lot of people, like dropping by to look. Not too many people um, purchasing, is what my mom told me when she dropped by. Um, it seemed like people were just out to have a good time, look around, window shop. Um, so yeah, that and also I have to consider that. I talked to the organizers and um, the main one told me that there were a lot more crochet vendors in um, certain areas because of, oh, because we had an event that was supposed to be last week, but due to the rain, um, they had to cancel the event. So then he told me that 30 vendors dropped from that event and did not reapply to this one. Um, so that they could uh, join us for this event. However, there were, I believe from what I counted, I think there was a total of five crochet vendors. I solely sell 
crochet plushies and sometimes I saw accessories which are like car charm hangers um, or keychains but I don't sell those that often anymore. I used to make more um, in the past but I don't anymore and from what I saw today there were two vendors that had um, crochet flowers where you pick your own flowers and make your own bouquet or you can uh, purchase singles and they also both of these vendors both also had um, the mini figurines the mini uh, crochet keychain figurines um, and I don't know I didn't stop by their booths to ask if they make them personally but it just seemed like they had a lot of stock um, so I don't know if they're outsourcing and then I did notice another crochet vendor on the um, grass area uh, I believe she was make she made um, some plushies too and then also uh, crochet bags so that was nice and then another crochet vendor on the walkway I believe she had plushies um, I didn't get a chance to really look at it thoroughly um, but my mom was telling me that she sold uh, the plushies that are like really big and then they use the really plush yarn um, so yeah you know each vendor is a different vendor um there may be similarities but i think as far as like competition goes um you know like it's gonna happen they try to curate it as much as they can and since we had um that cancellation from last week's event it might have affected uh the way that they were able to curate um the market this time around but honestly like it wasn't a bad turnout. I mean, $300 is good. Like that's a good thing. Um, and I'm always grateful, very thankful for the people that I meet and the people who um, continue to come back and purchase from me. Um, I did, <laughs> I did call out somebody cause I thought I recognized like their face from Instagram. Um, I do see the people who continue to like um, my stuff and I, I always want to, you know give you a personal thanks you know i don't want you to feel awkward um that i'm like you know saying something about it i really do appreciate um that you are following me and that you are purchasing from me and i want you to know that i notice um in a good way okay it's in a good way i do appreciate it um so yeah i think that's all i really have to say for this market um just the vibes that i got today uh, were really nice and it made me really excited to be back in the market scene um, I can't wait for the weather to just be nice all around be and people to come out it seemed like a lot of people came out because there was rain um, last week so it felt like everybody was I like everybody was on the same page we're like let's go out the weather's nice like why not <laughs> let's go window shopping oh there's a market why not so yeah that's that was the vibe that I got from people today and I am just happy and grateful for it um, for this event. Oh, I also forgot to mention, I was not expecting my large Totoro to sell right away, but I think I priced him too low. Um, so I'm my plan is to make another large Totoro so that I can draw people in with that and price him a little bit higher uh, just so you know, just so that I can draw in <laughs> the Ghibli fans because they are my people. Good morning, y'all. It is Tuesday, April 9, and I am coming to you guys with a restock update. Um, I wanted to go ahead and show you guys what I am taking from my market prep bin um, and bringing to my restock at Dreamland in Rancho. Um, so if you weren't already aware i do have a small stall um actually it's a medium-sized stall at dreamland in victoria gardens in rancho so if you want some of the plushies that i offer you're more than welcome to head on over there uh, yeah so i'll go ahead and show you what i um, am bringing to dreamland i always have to make sure to send in an inventory list a uh, day prior to restock so i will plan out when i think i have enough time to crochet enough plushies for the restock and i will schedule that at least a week in advance with that being said let's go over 
the plushies that I am bringing. Okie dokie. First up, we have cats. Look how adorable. We have five cats, all different colors. I don't keep track of the colors, I just make them. So we have five of those. Duckies. We have six duckies. Oop. Octos. Okay. I believe we have six octos. They're all different colors. And then I didn't have as much time to make dinos, but we do have two dinos. And then we have axolotls. These sell everywhere I am. So markets and the consignment shop. I brought six of these. And at the market on Sunday, I was able to make six hanging plants. And I have mini turtles. This pattern is Tofu the turtle. Inverse colors, ha ha ha. Okay, I have my little hens or chickens. So yeah, that's the update. Oh, I brought eight of these. So yeah, I typically bring 30 to 40 plushies per restock, and that usually lasts me about two weeks. I've definitely gotten a message reminding me to do a restock for my own benefit, obviously. Um, but yeah, I have been able to uh, manage both having the consignment shop opportunity and also the markets um, but we'll see how it goes here in april because i do have back-to-back -back markets um, for a few of the weekends okay that's all i can say but yeah if you like this video please go ahead and leave me a like comment down below about what you would like me to include in the next vlog and give me a subscribe and if you want to get more notifications about my upcoming vlogs or if I posted a new video, please don't forget to click the bell uh, icon. And yeah, that's all I got to say. Until next time, I'll see you then. Bye.